Welcome. I think we'll get started. We keep in our prayers this day, Paul and Gail McKim, Burl Ruth, Carol Lape, Chris Bayshore, Rod Spies, Bob Gregory, Norman Forey, Lorna Fraunfelter, Eugene Moyer, Anna Smith, Betty Licht, Dylan McKenzie, Luke Heaster, Marissa Soler, Carol Werkheiser, Terry Oxenrider, Joan Boyd, Anne, Julie, Kay, Brian and Tyler, Bob, John Hopman, Ray Gerke, uh, Cindy Marks, Rose Zerby, and her family. Um, we keep in our prayers the families and individuals suffering um, from the wildfires and from hurricane devastation. Please keep all those folks in your prayers this day. If someone wants to go greet the man bringing in the stuff. Thank you. Outside worship continues at 1030, and we'll do our best to uh, endure the, the colder weather. Uh, but the sun was nice and warm this past Sunday. I actually took off my coat. Uh, and the parking lot has lots of space, so we have lots of room for others to join us if you'd like to do that. Uh, this, let me think this all through now. Tuesday night, we have Zoom Bible study. Uh, and if you'd like to be a part of that, you need to do that on your computer, but you need to email Pastor Jen so that she can send you the information on how to do that. Um, and then Wednesday night, we have Holden Evening Prayer at 7.30. Um, and then on Thursday, it'll be a hymn sing with uh, Dr. Darren Lewis uh, here in the sanctuary. So if you'd like to join us for that, uh, please do so. Um, also, Tuesdays, we post the Sunday school lesson, a Bible story or another story that uh, you can watch with your children or grandchildren. Uh, just one more way to make that connection. Uh, and then daily devotions every day this week, Monday through Friday at noon. If you need some help or assistance, just need to talk to someone, please give us a call. We will respond. Will you join me in prayer? Gracious God, we all have hopes and expectations, but you alone know what is in front of us, and only you can give us the strength and the wisdom we will need to meet the challenges. Help us to humbly put our hands into your hand and to trust you and to seek your will for our lives. In the midst of life's uncertainties in the days ahead, assure us of the certainty of your unchanging love. In the midst of life's inevitable disappointments and heartaches, help us to turn to you for the stability and comfort we will need. In the midst of life's temptations and the pool of our stubborn self-will, help us not to lose our way, but to have the courage to do what is right in your sight, regardless of the cost. And in the midst of our daily preoccupations and pursuits, Open our eyes to the sorrows and injustices of our hurting world and help us to respond with compassion and sacrifice to those who are friendless and in need. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. The scripture I'd like to read this day comes from Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, beginning at the 14th verse. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I will send to Babylon and break down all the bars, and the shouting of the Chaldeans will be turned to lamentation. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings out chariot and horse, army and warrior, they lie down. They cannot rise, they are extinguished quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert to dr give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, so that they might declare my praise. Sometimes plans change. Sometimes our world gets disrupted. Who predicted 2020 to be what it is? Not me. Two stories that might help us this day. In the southern part of Alabama, in a village called Enterprise in Coffee County, they have erected in the town square a monument to an insect. It's probably the only monument of its kind in the world. The monument honors the Mexican boll weevil. 
1895, when the first bug appeared in Coffee County, the annual yield of 35,000 bales of cotton was cut by 40%. The damage quickly spread through the cotton belt from Alabama to Texas. People were, desperate, were, were in desperation to survive. The cotton farmer had to turn to more diversified farming. Most began to raise corn and potatoes and most of all, peanuts. In 1919, the county's peanut crop was yielding more than a million bushels annually. In that year of prosperity, a fountain was built across from the courthouse square in Enterprise. The inscription reads, in profound appreciation of the boll weevil and what it has done as the herald of prosperity, this monument was erected by the citizens of Enterprise, Coffee County, Alabama. In the midst of despair and hopelessness, a new path, a new thing was given. I simply find it interesting that they give credit to the boll weevil. Second story. A prominent doctor has a coat hanging in his closet. It is out of style and one sleeve is patched, but on certain days he takes the coat out of the closet and wears it with reverence. Why? Many years ago, he was a young intern serving the poor in a crowded city. And one night in midwinter, he was awakened by the fran frantic cries of a child at his door calling for him to come to an apartment down the street. He trudged through the snow and biting wind to a dingy building, then followed the small girl up a grimy set of stairs to a dimly lit room. He rushed inside to find a distraught father and mother bent over a limp figure on an old iron bed. Frantically, he worked to save the life of their son, but the best of his skills was not enough. As the boy died, the doctor suddenly began to shiver in the poorly heated tenement house. The grief-stricken father took off his coat and gently, gently wrapped it around the young doctor's shoulders. You need this more than I do. You keep it, he said. Thank you for trying to save my boy. The doctor knew this was the only coat this poor man owned. It had braved many winters at the little open-air vegetable and fruit stand on the corner, but he would not have dared to refuse it that night, for it was given to him as a sacrament of love and gratitude. So every once in a while, when he needs to be reminded about who is really in control of how fragile life really is, what gratitude and love really mean, he takes the coat out of the closet and wears it. Isaiah speaks for the Lord, do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. How do we remember without letting memories hold us back like the doctor in the coat? How do we perceive that the Lord is doing a new thing like the people of Enterprise, Alabama? In the midst of a pandemic, I believe we have to balance carefully or we will continue in freefall. Let's look for Jesus doing new things today. Let's remember how Jesus has been there for us in the past, maybe even carrying us on his shoulders and maybe we can allow Jesus to use us this day to do a new thing. A sign of love, compassion, grace for someone else. Let's look for a new thing. Will you join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught us? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Look for a new thing. God is at work. He hasn't stopped. And now receive God's blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be well. Please be safe. Take care.